Hey, it's Liz, and I'm finally um, going to do flip-throughs of my next glue books. It's glue book two and glue book three. Um, the last video I think I uploaded, which was a long time ago, um, sorry, <laughs> was my first glue book, which was really thick. It was an altered composition book. Um, I did like little vignettes and um, just really loved it. And so I kept going. Oh, and to show you what I turned into on my first glue book, some of the backgrounds were torn out of this book here, um, which was, it had like wallpaper patterns, I don't know. Um, and then, so what I did was I just, yeah, about half the pages had been torn out and then I just took it and I started using it as a base for my second glue book. Before I flip, People ask me over and over what type of adhesive I use. Daiso double stick tape. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do when my last one runs out, but there you have it. Uh, so for this one, I did a little different. The first one was like a lot of vignettes. I used a lot of um, like magazine, home decor magazine backgrounds and things and then I just sort of like filled the rooms up so this one um I did a couple of different things and one is I did a lot of pages that were groupings of like things and then I also added journaling to some of the pages um so let me show you it's like this is all mirrors and this is like a bunch of moon stuff so there you get the idea so I just want to do a quick flip again. I can't credit everything and everyone. This is from magazines and the internet and packaging and I couldn't possibly um, remember some of these magazines I've had, you know, like 15, 20 years. I used to hoard magazines. Some things are cut from old textbooks. you can see sometimes I group things together sometimes I tried to make a vignette sometimes I didn't care you know I just stuck stuff down it's sort of like um, that's the thing about this process that to me is self-care is there's no right or wrong it's just stuff I like like I love lemonade so I'm gonna stick a thing from an ad for lemonade why not um, and then, you know, I buy a lot of like art journal magazines and Somerset studio and a lot of stuff in there is beautiful. A lot of stuff in there is, eh, and I don't want to keep it all. So I just cut out the stuff I like. Uh, so then later I can go back and be like inspired, like, oh, you know, I really love how the artist did this. I love chandeliers. So like, I feel like almost all, every one of my glue books has a chandelier page you know and it's you know like this got a quote it says one does not leave a convivial party before closing time Winston Churchill and I did some journaling about like garden parties and being outside and whoops I Sorry, I get a little out of frame because I can't see very well. You should see how I have the camera, like the camera, my phone precariously perched just to look down at my table. <laughs> the other thing I did a little bit different in this one is I did have to have some sideways pages. Um, here's another. Just because this <clears throat> page size is a little bit awkward. It's big, but it's not quite big enough. So, and it's funny, I recently discovered, I was cleaning, and I discovered like probably 
half a dozen more House Beautiful magazines from 2006 underneath one of my tables. <laughs> so I was like, good. And what I do, you know, is I just sit in front of the, I say the TV, but you know, whatever my little device is streaming and I just rip out pages and then another day I'll go through and I'll cut out the images I liked. It's a lot of Lichtenstein in this. Um, I didn't realize how much you could kind of tell which popular or well-known artist I'm a fan of when you look through these books. Because I see a lot of the same uh, stuff over and over. These were um, um, homemade. I used the Jean Davenport tissue paper and I just like collaged it on top of looks like inked cardstock. And I will tell you, some of the prettiest things I find are from advertisements in magazines. Halloween. This, this I thought was really weird. I love cloches. And I keep saying I'm going to buy a cloche. I never do. But look at this. In two different magazines, I found two different, like, little vignettes. And both used a foot. <laughs> so I, can't, I think that might be a trend I missed. I just thought that was kind of cool. Um, these circles are punched out from magazines. Like if I don't really like the piece of art. But there's little sections I like. So I just get my circle punch and I just... Oh, the vehicles. Hopefully my hand's not covering too much. If this is too fast for you, please just um, slow it down. Warhol. I do like Warhol. This is Handsome Hank Space Adventure. It's a red dwarf. Oh, there's Lichtenstein. So that's glue book two. And glue book three is made from this book, which I had bought at the dollar store. I don't know, somewhere between seven and ten years ago, and then just sat on my shelf, and then the cat yacked on it, and some of the pages got ruined and so I started cannibalizing it and some of the images from it are actually in my first glue book like this this woman here whose head I covered was from it and um, let me see if I can find you know I can't find it when I need to So here's this. Oh, there's one. Okay. She's from it. She's from it. So anyway, it's just a bunch of um, models and movie stars in different black dresses. Um, so this one's really different in that instead of doing vignettes and instead of doing groupings for the most part, it's totally random. And then I also included a lot of my own kind of art like these hearts are made from off cuts from a weird jelly print and I cut some of the pages so this one was really less about being organized and expression and more about stick down things I like and I worked on it like every night after work for a couple months we just come home and I was either cutting out images or I was sticking down images so there's not necessarily a rhyme or reason. Um, these are from off cuts. But I um, just did it because like, it, it, it was therapy for me. So, um, yeah. This is a um, sculpture made of oil. 
thought that was really cool. This is, again, advertisement. I think it's like a faucet or a shower brand. They have like the best art in their commercials. Kind of like evocative, you know? But, um, yeah, I mean, I'm not as happy with this glue book as a finished product product as I am the others just because I feel like mm, maybe it's too random for someone to like where do you look what do I, I don't uh, it's just ah uh, so but again it's not art right it's <laughs> it's self-care um but I'm just doing flip throughs because um I have posted pages on Instagram and people have asked um what will you do will you do a video so yeah okay you really want to see my stuff oh there's a person from this book cut out and put on a different page it's funny um i'm not on instagram anymore though so please don't ask here's a bunch of stuff i made using different jane davenport products these are artist trading cards i just stuck them in there instead of trading them that's the age i was when i started this glue book that's not the age i am now Magic card, Magic the Gathering. Weird, like little offcuts, and I made a lot of stickers from offcuts. This picture is already in the book, I just left it. probably tell that I like Picasso a lot. That's another. I had some old ancient ticket stubs. What is the year on these? 2002. It's when I was in university. I took a course on um, interpreting set design and costume in theater. And so I got to see a bunch of stuff. I also saw Rent, but I don't seem to have that stub anymore. Um, I thought this was a clever idea at first. Now I'm thinking, yeah, it wasn't so clever, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Can't uncut it. This pictures, um, I actually think might be from this book as well. It's funny. I found, um, Apparently, the place where I was working before a shelter in place used to be like a floor store. Now, my company's rented it since 2013, maybe 2012, but we still get these mail to the floor store. <laughs> and some of the the like pictures in the in the flyers and ads are really cool. So I cut them out and take them home. Oh, there's a lot of these stickers. Um, where is it? Here. If you don't have this book, you have to get this book. If you like Victorian, you have to get this book. If you like weird stuff, like Adam's Family weird stuff, you have to get this book. It's, um, you can get it on Amazon, but I actually got it at Target. And it is just full of, like, weird Victorian art that they turned into stickers. I mean, I don't like that it leaves a um, border. I don't like that. You can cut, cut it if you're really... Uh, but I mean, it's got like, 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 look. <laughs> like, it's got like Bigfoot and like, what is that? And it's funny, um, if you go on Amazon, um, one of their reviews is like, you know, oh, it's just got just such ugly stuff and Oh, nobody would ever, would ever want to use these stickers. <laughs> this book, these stickers, remind me of my childhood so much because a lot of these images were in books that my dad read to me when I was a little girl. <laughs> so, yeah. 
I use those stickers as filler sometimes when I feel like the page is just not doing anything for me. But yeah, there's a lot of these little shapes. I cut chandelier from jelly print off cuts. I think these are all from a jelly print. If you're interested in seeing, I do have jelly print videos up on my um, official art channel. So, and I'm thinking I'll probably start actually doing more since I have time for another couple weeks. I think that's Rothko. I'm not super sure off the top of my head. More chandeliers. I didn't realize there were so many chandelier pages. Oh, this is, this is, um, this page is in the book. I just left it at, like, Tiffany. I just added these stickers from this book. This, I think, right here. If you really want to know who I am, this page. It's got, like, everything I love. It's got a quote, beautiful artwork, co favorite colors, favorite animal that's not an octopus. This is, it's a black and white um, print, but this is graffiti in that, like, Chicago or something. It's graffiti. It's huge. Oops, sorry. Super cool. Okay. And the good thing about using double stick tape is it's, you don't have to wait for it. You just, you stick it on, you can turn the page. There's no glue to dry. Squash. <laughs> oh, and then you saw some of these in there. I have a groovy, I got a groovy plate last summer. No. Yes. Yes. No. Two summers ago. And you talk about uh, self-care. That's very relaxing. I see one of my flowers has come off. I'll have to glue that back on. Um, so that's glue book three. And then I started glue book four. And what I did is, because I had all these copies of Somerset Studio, and they always give you artist papers in there, I just took them and I punched it with my Happy Planner Punch and I glue magazine pages on the other side. And then how I'm doing this one, I'll show you what's done so far, is um, by color. Um, the only reason the pages are not stuck together is because I ordered the rings on Amazon and they're not considered um, an essential item. So they will send them when they send them. Sorry about that. Um, so pink and this one is like neon and this one is going to be purple. So by doing it by color, you can see the pages aren't done, right? Before I move on, I had some stuff of that color and then it'll keep getting added to orange and then olive. I did these, these I started last night, <coughs> red stuff. And I think that's it, yeah. So I just thought, what else am I gonna use all these papers for? So why not make a journal? Okay, and then the other thing people kept asking me on social media is, how do you organize your stuffs? Your collage fodder. Let me make some room. So I have this binder. It's clearly way too small. But basically it's just um, seat protectors and baseball card. These are big pocket letters. Turn them along with um, The tags are here. Artwork. Um, food. Animo. Right, more animals. Stamps household objects, right? So I just have them just alphabet. So, so just keep it organized like that. So 
Um, they used to just use the sheet protectors and this binder was like because everything would pile, pile down at the bottom. So that's why I started using the baseball card. So it would sort of push some of the bulk to the top. But, but, see, it's, there's not, it's too small. Um, but the only other binders I have that are bigger right now are um, not hard. They're like floppy. And I don't, I don't want to use floppy. So anyway, those are my clue books. So hopefully you, I don't know, saw something that you found inspiring or that you liked or maybe you hated it. <laughs> if you hated it, just dislike the video. Um, anyway, thanks for watching.